Live astonishingly, awakening to your most authentic life. When was the last time you felt truly alive, bursting with energy and excitement for the day ahead? Many of us, caught in the routine of daily life, find ourselves merely existing rather than truly living. This realization often comes with a sense of urgency, a feeling that precious moments are slipping away, leaving us longing for more meaningful and vibrant experiences. To live is the rarest thing in the world. Most people exist, that is all. Oscar Wilde The concept of living fully is not just an ideal but a necessity for a fulfilling life. Author Jody Wellman challenges us to confront our mortality in a way that can profoundly shift our perspective. By calculating our remaining weeks, subtracting our current age from the average lifespan of 80 years, then multiplying that by 52, we can vividly see just how limited our time is. This exercise is a powerful wake-up call, urging us to break free from complacency and embrace each day with newfound appreciation. Understanding the brevity of life compels us to prioritize what truly matters. It's easy to get caught up in the daily grind, but when we recognize the finite nature of our existence, we become more intentional with our time. We start to focus on experiences and relationships that bring joy, fulfillment, and meaning, rather than merely going through the motions. Do not go where the path may lead, go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Ralph Waldo Emerson Living life astonishingly, as Wellman puts it, means stepping out of our comfort zones and daring to pursue our passions and dreams. It's about making conscious choices that align with our deepest values and desires. This might involve taking risks, facing fears, and letting go of societal expectations to create a life that truly resonates with who we are. To live astonishingly is to embrace the full spectrum of human experiences, the joys and sorrows, successes and failures. It means being present in each moment, savoring the beauty of the world around us, and finding gratitude in the simple things. This mindful approach allows us to connect more deeply with ourselves and others, fostering a sense of belonging and purpose. Regular reflection on our mortality can serve as a catalyst for change, propelling us towards a more vibrant and authentic life. It's not about fearing death but rather using it as a reminder to live fully and passionately. By integrating this awareness into our daily lives, we can cultivate a mindset that prioritizes growth, exploration, and wholehearted living. In conclusion, waking up to your most authentic, vibrant life involves a shift in perspective and a commitment to living with intention. By acknowledging the limited nature of our time on earth, we can break free from routine, embrace our passions, and live each day with purpose and joy. As Jody Wellman encourages, let's make every moment count and live life astonishingly. If you found this discussion insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring content on living your best life. Living Astonishingly Living a full, vibrant life starts with identifying what makes you feel energized, engaged, and like your most authentic self. A powerful exercise is to list activities, relationships, places, and experiences that spark genuine joy in you, whether it's losing yourself in an art project, hiking in nature, or having deep conversations with loved ones. Once you've identified these elements, think about how you can incorporate them into your daily and monthly routines. It's equally important to confront what feels stagnant or empty in your life. This means asking yourself tough questions like, when was the last time I felt fully engaged with life? Are there ways in which I've somehow given up on really living? Grappling with these questions can fuel positive change and help you refocus on living fully. Remember, an astonishing life looks different for everyone. It's about what's meaningful and true to you. Consider keeping a diary to audit how you spend your days. Note what you want more of, what you'd like less of, and how you might boost your sense of purpose. Deliberate reflection helps keep you attentive and awake as your life unfolds. Feeling brave? Try writing your own obituary. Imagine you've reached the end of your life and consider what you'd want the summary of your time on earth to reflect. What accomplishments, relationships, or qualities would make you most proud? Whether it's incredible adventures, making people feel loved and accepted, or having a positive impact, let this vision guide your current choices and priorities. Work backward to identify what you need to start doing, or do differently, to make this vision a reality. Another powerful exercise is to imagine yourself at 80 or 90 years old, reflecting on your current life. What words of wisdom would your elder self offer? Would they urge you to stress less about the little things, be bolder in pursuing your dreams, or appreciate what you already have? Would they advise nurturing certain relationships, pursuing neglected passions, or prioritizing your well-being? Step into the shoes of your wisest elder self and view your current circumstances through their compassionate, discerning eyes. 
Jot down any insights and consider how to implement their advice today. This mental shift in perspective can cut through the noise and clarify what truly matters in the big picture. In a world where it's easy to drift, these tools can help you wake up and live astonishingly before it's too late. As Ralph Waldo Emerson said, to be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment. By staying true to yourself and your passions, you can ensure a vibrant, fulfilling life. Mining Regrets for Wisdom Imagine yourself on your deathbed, reflecting on your life. What would you regret not doing, being, or saying? While regrets often seem purely negative, they can serve a profound purpose. Research shows that people value regret the most among negative emotions for its ability to clarify mistakes and guide better decision-making. Jody Wellman distinguishes between two main types of regrets. Hot regrets are regrets of commission, like losing your temper at a loved one. They burn intensely in the short term. In contrast, regrets of omission are the haunting what-ifs that linger, like never pursuing a dream career. Wellman's survey of hundreds of people revealed frequently cited regrets, including neglecting health, failing to prioritize relationships, abandoning passions, and making fear-based rather than growth-oriented choices. So, how can you transform regrets from sources of suffering to catalysts for change? Treat past regrets as lessons, instructions rather than reasons to ruminate. By extracting insights about what to do differently, you can make future choices with greater wisdom. Let's return to the question from the beginning. Imagine you're on your deathbed with only 24 hours to live. With unflinching honesty, consider what you would most regret not doing, being, or saying. What dreams would feel most painful to leave unexplored? What relationships, interests, or values would you wish you had nurtured more fully? This is your deathbed regrets list. Write down anything that surfaces, from the weighty, never telling your father you'd forgiven him, to the seemingly trivial, never learning to make your grandmother's signature dish. Wellman recommends highlighting the most gut-wrenching ones, those that trigger a visceral sense of loss and longing. These are the regrets to tackle first. But how? The key is to take immediate action, even if it's a micro-step. If you regret a frayed relationship, send a thoughtful text. If you wish you'd prioritized your health, schedule an overdue checkup. If an abandoned creative dream keeps resurfacing, sign up for that pottery class today. The magnitude of the action matters less than the meaning behind it. To be sure, some regrets are harder to face. Paths not taken, like never having children or recovering from addiction, may elicit intense grief. Wellman acknowledges the courage it takes to confront these lost possible selves and to reimagine a different future. Yet doing so is crucial to move forward with acceptance and renewed hope. Crafting a life with minimal regret is an ongoing practice. In the end, living with intention is the greatest gift you can give your future self. As Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, finish each day and be done with it. You have done what you could. Learn from it, tomorrow is a new day. By embracing our regrets as teachers, we can transform our lives with wisdom and purpose. Boosting your vitality. Have you ever found yourself feeling utterly, infectiously alive? So energized and engaged that you couldn't wait to jump out of bed? Many of us assume that vitality, that ineffable zest for life, is an accident of genetics or circumstances. On the contrary, vitality is a highly malleable state that we can deliberately amplify with the right choices. Vitality is our positive sense of aliveness and energy. It encompasses feelings of enthusiasm, curiosity, passion, and engagement. When we have vitality, we don't just slog through our days, we embrace them. And that makes all the difference for our productivity, creativity, relationships, and overall life satisfaction. So why do many of us feel more like zombies than zealots? There are several sneaky vitality snuffers that can gradually drain us if we're not careful. Excessive screen time is one. Studies show that spending hours upon hours scrolling through social media or binge watching TV severely affects our well-being. We may feel relaxed in the moment, but over time, it erodes our energy, mood, and sense of life and connection. Other common culprits include overwork, chasing an ever higher paycheck rather than fulfillment, neglecting our physical health, and surrounding ourselves with negative people, those who have a knack for magnifying the negative in any situation. So how can you amplify your vitality in the face of it all? By proactively filling your days with experiences that make you feel alive. That might mean getting lost in a challenging hobby. Engaging in activities that put you in flow states is a reliable path to vitality. Or you might find aliveness in savoring sensory pleasures, like the scent of honeysuckle on an evening walk, the taste of a ripe peach in August, or the thrum of a favorite record. When you consciously tune into these simple delights, you can't help but feel more alive. 
Movement is also key to keeping your vital juices flowing. Can you pepper your days with physical activity? How about an impromptu kitchen dance party while waiting for the coffee to brew? Motion begets energy, which begets a more passionate, engaged life. Connection may be the greatest vitality booster of all. Prioritizing time with the people you love, whether it's a quick catch-up call or a leisurely walk in the park, is like plugging a battery pack straight into your soul. It's not about cramming your calendar to the gills. It's about feeling a sense of autonomy, spending your precious time and energy in ways that feel aligned with what you care about. And that's where the link between vitality and mortality comes in. When you viscerally recognize that your days are numbered, you're far less likely to squander them on things that feel deadening versus enlivening. The acute awareness of your finitude, uncomfortable as it may be, can jolt you out of complacency and into committed action. Because the ultimate antidote to an unlived life is vitality, and it's within your power to cultivate it. Final Summary, Living a Life with Minimal Regrets Living a life with minimal regrets requires conscious effort and intentionally. In You Only Die Once by Jody Wellman, the key message is to pursue what truly matters to you. This involves deep reflection and a commitment to actions that align with your core values and passions. By focusing on what brings you joy and fulfillment, you can craft a life that you'll look back on with pride and satisfaction. Engaging in deliberate reflection helps you identify what sparks joy and meaning in your life. Take the time to list activities, relationships, and experiences that make you feel alive and energized. This clarity allows you to prioritize these elements and integrate them into your daily routine. As you become more attuned to what truly matters, you'll find that your sense of purpose and fulfillment deepens. Recognizing the preciousness and finitude of your days is crucial. Contemplating our impermanence can jolt us out of complacency and into committed action. By calculating the number of weeks you have left, as Wellman suggests, you gain a visceral understanding of how limited your time is. This awareness can be a powerful motivator to make the most of every moment and pursue your passions with urgency. Vitality, that ineffable zest for life, is a state you can cultivate. It's not something reserved for the lucky few, it's a highly malleable state that you can deliberately amplify through the right choices. Engaging in activities that put you in a state of flow, savoring sensory pleasures, and nurturing meaningful connections can significantly boost your vitality. When you feel vibrant and alive, every aspect of your life improves, from productivity and creativity to relationships and overall satisfaction. Flow states are particularly powerful in boosting vitality. These are moments when you're so immersed in an activity that time seems to fly by. Whether it's a challenging project at work, a creative hobby, or physical exercise, find what brings you into flow and make it a regular part of your life. The sense of engagement and fulfillment you'll experience will enhance your overall well-being. Nurturing connections is another essential aspect of living a vibrant life. Prioritize time with loved ones and engage in meaningful conversations. Whether it's a quick catch-up call or a leisurely walk in the park, these moments of connection are like plugging a battery pack straight into your soul. Surrounding yourself with positive, supportive people can have a profound impact on your vitality and overall happiness. In the end, living with intention is the greatest gift you can give yourself. As the famous quote by John Lennon goes, life is what happens when you're busy making other plans. Don't let life slip by in a haze of busyness and distractions. Take control of your time and energy, and focus on what truly matters to you. Thank you for joining us on this journey of self-discovery and intentional living. If you enjoyed this discussion, please take a moment to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Your support means the world to us and helps us continue to bring you inspiring content. If you haven't subscribed yet, Click that button now to stay updated with our latest videos. If you want to get a deeper knowledge about the subject, I'll leave the hard copy link in the description below. Let's empower each other to live with purpose and make the most of every precious moment. Thank you, and see you soon.